we are at the point where we are gathering the most important info for n value that is n value actual cost and planned value so first thing we are measuring the actual progress of the work and the real time expenses this gives us the ingredients for n value which is like the value of the work we are accomplished we also grab the actual cost from financial records while the planned value was already decided during the planning stage right with all the data in hand we are ready to see how the project is uh, performing we use the collected info to compare how our cost and the schedule are moving along with the compared to our original plans this helps us to see if we are on a track or not some special metrics we use for this like cost variance schedule variance cost performance index and a schedule performance index this just us know if you are under the under budget or over budget or whether be ahead the schedule or the behind behind the schedule now here is a cool part based on the actual cost and the pace that we have been working on it we can even predict how our project will look in the future when we check all these numbers we might notice difference from original plans this is totally normal because the things changes as we go along if the differences are bigger than what we set as acceptable if you look into the more more closely if we needed we take steps to get things back to track during project changes can happen of course we need to manage these changes and make sure they are in line with our original plans and don't forget as we keep moving forward we might need to adjust the baselines also like our performance measurement baseline when we are going is it is time to wrap up the project we take a good look at what we have achieved compare it to what we planned and then officially close the project this is project close out space so uh, to sum it up end value management starts with the planning we define what we needs to be done figure out how we will measure the progress and build our schedule and cost plans then comes to the data gathering and uh, it is coming from the which uh, different data are getting from financial system or from the resources time sheets and all so many areas we where we track the actual cost to measure how we are going to achieve next we use the data so if you are staying on track we will check the project is healthy or if we need to make some adjustments and finally when all it is when it's all done we look back compare and tie up the project nicely let us break this down in a simple terms every successful project needs a clear plan right from the start imagine building a puzzle you need to know what the final pictures uh, picture looks like before you even begin right well, in the world of projects this is applicable this is the same uh, story continues also there also when we talk about a project plan we are really uh, what needs to be done why it is very important and what we expect to achieve this is not just important for the people working on the project but for everyone involved the whole team and the, anyone who is interested think of it like everyone knowing the game plan before the match starts if we kick off project without knowing the goal of boundaries if we kick off the project without knowing the goal of boundaries it's like trying to hit a target in the dark chances are there things won't turn 
uh, out to the well we got your wish not having a clear plan can lead to confusion delays mistakes and happy customers and even project failures also defining the project goal and the scope is like uh, setting out the foundation to have a strong and a successful project we have got to know exactly what we are aiming for what 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 needs to be done to get there so here is a real deal every project have a clear goals things we want to achieve things to think of uh, these are uh, our projects at destination the goal keeps everyone on the same page and uh, give our project a real purpose then we have got the project scope this is like uh, our to do list all the task that need to be completed to reach these goals the the scope outlines what is in and what is out it's it's a set uh, it, it it determine the boundaries now to uh, who decides these goals and scope usually it's a customer or who is over asking the project they put these things in writing sometimes in fancy document called a request of our proposals or a statement of work here comes a cool part once we have uh, this clear goals and the scope we can use a tool called the work breakdown structure to organize the work this is uh, like dividing big task into smaller manageable pieces it is like uh, talking a big cake and uh, slicing it into a neat slices the wbs is like a road map it shows us uh, what we needs to be done step by step each level uh, in the wbs the tree gives a uh, more detail about the work involved it's like zooming in a different parts of the project now creating a good wbs follows uh, some simple rules the most important one is the 100% rule this rule says that wbs should include all the work that project scope describes and each level of detail should be added up to 100% of the level and above it imagine a pizza the slice adds up the whole p you know another rule is to avoid overlapping task in the wbs this is like a making sure each slice of pizza is unique no double toppings overlapping task and cause confusion and uh, wasted effort now a well defined wbs also focus on the outcome not just uh, the steps it is like uh, describing the delicious taste of the pizza now just how it is made this way everyone knows what the end of uh, result should be so in nutshell the start of a successful project is about having a clear cut plan for what needs to be done